what's up everybody, it's your girl Amanda the Buzz Artist and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful vase with daisies coming out of that vase. This was so much fun to make and so incredibly easy. Be sure to get all your paint supplies and come meet me. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do this. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more helpful video tutorials from me in the future. Let's do this. Okay, so we're going to start with an 8x10 pre-gessoed canvas as well as blue, white, yellow, and black paint. I didn't show the black on this, but we will be using it. We will also be using a 3 quarter inch flat wash brush, a number 10 filbert, a number 10 shader, and a number 0 detail round brush. And I got a list of all these supplies that we're using in the description below. So we're going to start with our 3 quarter inch flat wash, we're going to dip it in water, and then dip it in some blue, as well as some white. And I'm going to mix those colors together to form a nice pale blue. Then I'm going to take my brush and Vertically, I'm going to apply brush strokes all around the canvas. I'm going to try to leave the center untouched with paint because I do want to leave that feeling a little lighter than the rest of the canvas. And don't forget to do the sides of your canvas as well. Now I'm going to go in with some white and I'm just going to go ahead and blend in the center with the wet paint from the blue that we have all around it. And the point here is we just want to create this nice gradient blending in the center so you get this like halo effect when we put in our flowers and vase later. Now I'm going to take my number 10 shader, I'm going to dip it in some water and dip it in some white paint because what we're going to do now is we're going to make our vase. So I start off by making two diagonal lines and I make them go down uh, straight to the bottom of the canvas. Then I just... Uh, make two vertical lines on top to make the uh, opening of our face and I just make like uh, an oval shape on the top and then I just go ahead and accentuate the lines and uh, just kind of create that glass like effect and I'm using the tip of my shader brush to help with a lot of these strokes as well as some of the broadsides. When I use the tip, I use that for the more uh, clean surfaces that I'm looking for. And I use the broadside to help me get more of a sheen, like a reflection point on the glass itself. So I'm going to keep on adding some more white until I'm pretty happy with the reflections. Now I'm going to take my shader and uh, dip it in some black as well as some white to make a gray color because now we're going to make the stems of our flowers. You can choose to make these any color you'd like but I chose uh, gray and I'm just taking the tip of my shader brush and I'm making lines coming out and um, kind of like a branch I'm just um, branching out some of the strands to come off like a Y shape off of the other branches. So I'm just kind of going at random with this, trying to feel it out. And an important tip to remember here is to always keep your brush and your paint wet when you're doing branches. The more uh, wet your paint is, the better it will glide and the more sleek your lines will be. So I'm going to now take that shader brush, put in some white, I'm just going to accentuate uh, and paint over the strands uh, that are in the glass just to give that illusion that it's behind the glass. Now I'm going to take my filbert, I'm going to mix some yellow and some blue, and I'm going to try to make like a, a very, 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 very like pale yellow. And I'm just going to go ahead with my filbert, I'm just going to make like a almost like a half moon uh, brush stroke. Then I'm going to go ahead add some white and I'm going to make the petals of my flowers and it's all going to center around the um, the, the um, pupil or that center point of the flower. I really can't remember what it's called. So I'm just using my brush and I'm literally working myself around the center portion of that flower and um, I'm kind of like working tangent off of the that center so um, I'm just rotating my brush every which way to attempt to get that flower shape going. 
and you'll notice these flowers are kind of in different orientations. They're, you know, one's facing the left, one's facing the right. So I kind of adjust my brush stroke to uh, accommodate that. If I have a flower that's kind of facing to the right, I make sure that the petals that are kind of on the uh, left portion are a little bit taller and that they partially cover more of the yellow in the middle. Now I'm just going to go back in with my detail round brush and I'm just going to go ahead and add in just a tiny more details with like the little twigs there. Then I'm going to add some white and I'm just going to make like some little dots to represent like, you know, some pussy willows or baby's breath, something very um, delicate. And I think this adds like a nice little touch. And then I'm going to also go into the centers and just make little dots with the white on the centers here just to kind of give them a little bit of texture. And I can also go back in here with some yellow just to fix up the centers as well. Now I'm going to take my detail round, dip it in some black, and I'm going to add a little bit of detail to the glass itself. And I'm mostly working on the edges of the glass here, just kind of adding little, little details here and there. It's very important to not uh, have a lot of paint on your brush when you're doing this and you want to work very very lightly So I'm very I'm very lightly touching my canvas with my brush uh, Trying to give that illusion of something that's a lot. That's very delicate Now I'm also going to go towards the uh, center of the flower again with my black and very, very, very lightly just make a little outline. So if there's a flower that's facing one direction, I paint in that direction. So, you know, the flower that's facing the left, I, I kind of do a little slight outline on the left portion. And then I just do little dots on the center just for added texture and effect. And then again with the black, I'm just kind of accentuating the petals from the center. Uh, again, this is just a texture thing, just something to give this a little more depth to the painting itself. And once again, I'm only using black for this. After I add those little details, I am officially done. This was awesome. Hope you had a wonderful time making these jar of daisies. This was so much fun to make. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and to subscribe to my channel. Smash that like button so that you can see more helpful tutorials from me in the future. All right, everyone. I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye. Hey, you. Do you have any other ideas of what other paintings you would like for me to do? Comment below and share. I'd love to hear your suggestions.